really good stuff in that game. It's some average, a bit of a mix. Yeah, there was a little bit of a mix because I started the finishes. I started really well. First set at 100%. The 92 was a huge, huge finish. Um, he come back to 1-1 the sets. He played really well there. I missed, I think, seven darts for 2-1 up in the second set. And then I finished amazing in the third set in 1-5-6. That was, I think, the break point for me. Uh, more confidence. And that was the one, I think, you can play dice. <laughs> you certainly can. The yeah. last two years at the William Hill World Championship, you've been involved in fantastic games. Yeah, of and course. Lost really close ones. Yeah, you know, you, you know by yourself the fluid tournaments how good I am. The last, I think the the um, the winter series, you know, I could have win the one, but Michael Smith beat me there. But one one tell, I think the whole day I had above one hundred average. Almost one twelve against Brandon Dolan, and, and you know you do the commentator there, and you know why good I am on the floor. When I get that on the stage, I'm dangerous for everyone. Well, that winter series, the stuff you played there is probably the best we've seen from you in the PDC. You got you in the Grand Slam of Darts. Yes. Has something happened? Has something changed that's taken <laughs> you to a new level, or are you just learning? I know you are sometimes it's Dutch is frustrating and. Um, at home, was doing something else. Uh, busy with some some uh, puzzle, you call that 3D puzzle there. That was more frustrating than that. <laughs> and then I I took my rest the rest in there. I didn't play dodge for three days. I come back for the Grand Slam, and that that makes me uh, more confidence, more rest in myself. And because you do another thing than darts, because you're frustrated and treated, but so you're was like, <laughs> you do something, ah, oh. what like this, what like this, and then <laughs> you're frustrated. Then. Okay, so you're, you're quite friendly with Dimitri van der Berg, you playing? Really, really quite friendly, and you remember the Gibraltar, what he said to me? No, what did he say in Gibraltar? You beat him in Gibraltar? Oh, yeah, he told me, I kick your ass, he told me, and I kick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this now, is a great opportunity after Christmas for you yeah. to on the biggest stage in the world. Let's say, uh, because Dimitri is a good guy, uh, we know each other is really good, and uh, he know that he always have difficult against me. And before I came to the PDC, my first uh, World Championship qualifier, I played Dimitri there, I win it. Because I, I, I go with positives to the stage, You've seen Dimitri this year. He's amazing. World match play champion. Yeah. He's, he keeps on throwing these enormous averages. Yeah. That I imagine that's something that you want to be doing on the biggest stages. Yes. You, yes, you that's true. Him in floor yeah, one. that's true. That's true. True. But um, I know Dimitri, and I know how he play every, every time against me. But and uh, I know I have to play my best dice against him. He he have a good really year, and he won the match play. But I. I don't are afraid against him. I don't. Well, look, enjoy Christmas. We'll see you after. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Jermaine, congratulations. Touch Thank that you very much. There. Obviously, last year, your game against Luke was arguably one of the games <clears throat> of the tournament. I know you're on the wrong side of that, but does that give you good memories, the fact that you know you can play well on that stage? Yeah, not only, not only against, I tell you what, not only against Luke Humphries, but only, you know the, the, the game against uh, Joe Cullen, I mean, um, against Gary Anderson, the thriller, um, I guess Luke Humphries again, again a thriller. I know what it is, how how good I can play on the stage. How close do we, th or do you think you are to producing your best on the stage? Too far away, I think, because I know I can a lot better than this. But my last two sets, what I said, there was my scoring was coming up. I know uh, what I told uh, then. Dan Dawson, that when my scoring is really brilliant and my doubles is good, I'm a dangerous player. 100%. Yeah. Just looking at the confidence you can gain from this result, do you think you can build and go on? And is the confidence there that if you find that game, you could actually win? Also, find my game, of course, there's a confidence. Everyone knows. I told Dan the man, he's always, uh, Dan Dawson, he's always commentator on the uh, floor tournaments. And he know what I can, 
uh, people who there with have seen my playing. When I play like on the floor, then uh, like on the floor as on the stage, I, I, told, I will tell you I, I really dangerous. Obviously, you've got to stay now for, for Christmas because of the travel restrictions. Will be a nice Christmas, right? <laughs> Just out of interest, were, were you planning to go home and come back? No, or not? Or no that was not my planning, but because um, I told my parents already when I win, I stay in England because I played 10, 23rd, uh, 24th, no flights in the air. It's difficult to go home, and then maybe they say, maybe you'll play on 27th, and then it's, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. So it didn't the, the, the travel restrictions didn't actually affect you on this occasion? No, you know what? You, you know there was a negative uh, advice for travelling. Uh, we know that all. And then you, you take the risk to play the World Championships. Of course, everyone will play the cha World Championships. Everyone will be his family with Christmas. But you have to make a choice. And keep it positive. I make a choice to come here. I know there was a chance that you have no Christmas with your family. But the positive is I win, I go through. And my uh, mom, my stepdad, my uh, sister, my brother will be happy that I'm still here. Jermaine, pleasure as always, mate. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Jermaine, uh, you mentioned about your family just then. How important <laughs> is, it, is it to have them supporting your decisions like, like you have this week? Yeah, normally they are here to support me, but I think at home that uh, they support me harder than normally. <laughs> and uh, I think they, they are screaming now for the TV and they're happy now to have a good Christmas. I wish everyone a good Christmas, by the way, and uh, um, we will do a video call one day tomorrow with my sister. Uh, they have some uh, nice food and then I will call them. And you, you talk about Dimitri Vandenberg, obviously you're, you're good friends with him and you've watched yes, what we are he's really done this year. Is that inspiration to you? Of course. Dimi, Dimitri is one of the biggest talent in the world, I will tell you. Um, but I know everyone can beat him as well. He can win every game, Dimitri. But I know by myself but, uh, that he always have a difficult game against me. And hopefully he do. Dead as well. Thank you, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you, Roger.